Okay, Tech Life sent me their T8 jump started to review. Here's everything you get. It comes with this nice clamshell carrying case. The unit itself, a wall charger, cigarette lighter charger, user manual, jumper cables. You also get a 12 volt adapter for running a 12 volt device off the unit and a micro USB charging cable. So let's take a closer look at the unit itself. It's got a nice feel to it. Feels well made, a nice rubbery feel. Has a built-in compass. It also has a light. It has two USB outputs for charging devices, like your cell phone, I might charge my cell phone, GoPro, what have you. This output here is for the cigarette lighter adapter. And this input here is for recharging the unit. So I already charged it up, so when we turn this power switch on, We'll see that it's at 100%. There's also the flashlight on here. So when I press and hold this, we'll turn on the flashlight. Pretty bright, just blinded myself. If you press it again, it goes into flashing strobe mode. And you press it again, it's flashing SOS. Press it again, it's off. Now if we do a double press, it's going to turn on this emergency beacon, so that's good for changing a tire or something. Okay, to use this to jump start a car, what you're going to do is you're going to plug in the jumper cables. This only goes in in one direction. Now if we take a voltmeter, you'll see that pretty much getting no reading off the clamps right now. So as a safety feature, the clamps aren't going to be hot, but when you hook them up to your battery, it's going to sense the voltage of your battery and it's going to turn the unit on. Now if the battery is too dead to trigger the tack life to turn on, that's when you'll press this button here and it powers the unit on for 30 seconds. Now you have 30 seconds to jump your car. And once that's powered on, you'll see now I'm running at 12.35 volts. And that voltage, it will go down as the power drains on here. So it's going to be best to have it battery as fully charged as possible before attempting to jump start your car. All right, so let's go try it out. Just turn on the bright lights, engine not running, going to intentionally give myself a dead battery. Then we'll try the Tack Life jump starter. Okay, it took a few hours of running the bright lights and the radio, but we finally have a dead battery. Susie, try and start the car. Okay, so hold up. So I'm going to hook up the uh, Tack Life. Okay, don't do anything. Now hooking up the tack life. Put the red on the positive and the black on the negative. There we go. Okay, the tack life, it's reading the battery so it turned on automatically so we don't need to press the boost. All right, Susie, try and start the car again. All right, there we go. Woo! Okay, leave it running. All right, that worked good for jumping my 4Runner. I'd also recommend checking your device periodically and making sure that it has a good charge. You can also easily charge while you're driving with the included 12 volt cable. Another note, even if the power switch is on, the tack life will power down after inactivity, so you may need to turn it off and then back on again prior to using. So that's it, thanks for watching.